Let's talk about a flyback transformer or a DC to DC isolated converter. Now, I made one out of a common mode choke, and common mode chokes are you'll find them in filters uh, on power supplies. And here's a couple here. And all they do on those is they have the hot and the neutral the line come in, and it just goes straight through. And what it does is it, it blocks uh, high frequency noise. And uh, maybe we'll talk about that at some point. But I'm just using it as a flyback transformer. Now, these dots on the coil on the uh, transformer, that um, tells you which way the, the, uh, the w it's wound around the core here, okay? So what I did is I took the winding off this side, and I wound it in the opposite direction. So we have a dot up here and a dot down here. Now, what that does, it uh, we have positive here. It allows this side to be positive and this side to be negative. If you don't rewind it and the dot's up here, then this becomes negative and this is positive down here. But uh, it, it works just the same. But I'm doing it this way. This is normally how the uh, flyback transformers work. So what happens here is we have a, a pulse coming in from our PWM here. And it's turning on and off this uh, uh, MOSFET here. And when the MOSFET is on, current flows into the coil in this direction, into the dot here, okay? And when the MOSFET's on, the current uh, flows out. It's a coupled inductor at this point. It flows out of the coupled inductor, but it's blocked by the diode here, okay? It's like having an open switch here. So no current can flow in here. It comes up here, hits this, this diode, just like an open switch. Magnetic field bells up in this core, and then when the MOSFET is turned off, the magnetic field will uh, collapse, creating uh, current in this direction into the dot, through the coil, through the diode, and out to the load here. So, and the capacitor charges up and maintains the voltage to the load right here, okay? So that's all there is to it. We're just uh, building up a magnetic field, it collapses, and current's gonna th go through this coil here, out to the load, okay? So, we're going we're gonna to give one a try here. All right, let's see. Turn that one on. This is our vol volts coming in. So, right now I've got uh, 7 point. 5 8 volts come in here and this is the voltage on the outside so we have to uh, we have to trigger the MOSFET and to do that we're going to use this uh, uh, PWM right here so we're triggering the MOSFET and I'm getting 5 volts out okay now when I rewound this I brown this side with a little bit bigger wire and I don't think I got as many turns on here so uh, normally these are there's a one-to-one -one ratio but you can change any ratio you want on that to get the voltage you want so here it uh, I'm putting in uh, seven and a half volts and I'm getting out my five volts out here okay now I can adjust that with the uh, the pulse width modulation I can I can change the there we go I have it at 90 percent now and it's at uh, uh, 5.28 and then I turn it down to 26%, but, well, zero, I got zero, and come up to 15%, I have 4.8 volts, so you can't, you can adjust the voltage with the, uh, the pulse rate going in, but uh, now I have it at uh, 2.4 volts, so, um, yeah, it works, and uh, that's a, a flyback transformer, uh, they use these in a lot of cheap power supplies, and, uh, because they're, they're simple to use, and, uh, and relatively inexpensive. Anyway, uh, that's a flyback transform. Thank you.